Programming is the art of expressing solutions to problems so that a computer can execute those solutions. Much of the effort in programming is spent finding and refining solutions. Often, a problem is only fully understood through the process of programming a solution for it. Most words have experienced several changes in meaning throughout their history, so that it is impossible to say which stage in their meaning is the true meaning. And if we attempt to go back to the beginning, we find it is impossible, for the origins of many words are difficult to trace back. Just about everyone on the planet wears at least one article of clothing made from cotton at some point during the day. Inevitably, by products of the plant show up as well in something that person is doing. The source of cotton's power is its nearly terrifying versatility and the durable creature comforts it provides.
when buying a house, for example, it's best to let our unconscious mull over the many variables. But when we're picking stocks and shares, intuition often leads us astray. The trick is to determine when to lean on which part of the brain. And to do this, we need to think harder and smarter about how we think. Karl Marx is arguably the most famous political philosopher of all time, but he was also one of the great foreign correspondents of the 19th century. During his 11 years writing for the New York Tribune, their collaboration began in 1852. Marx tackled an abundance of topics, from issues of class and the state to world affairs. Never before has the world of journalism been so explosive, so global, and so competitive. Forget hourly news flashes. We live in a world of 24-hour breaking news, with radio and TV stations and internet news sites updating stories by the minute.
Today's technological market is dominated by two contrasting business models, the generative and the non-generative. The generative models, the PCs, Windows, and Macs of this world allow third parties to build upon and share through them. The non-generative model is more restricted. Appliances might work well, but the only entity that can change the way they operate is the vendor. Margaret Simons explains the changes taking place in the Australian media. She analyzes audiences, our major media, organizations, the role of government and the implications of all of this for our society and our democracy. Her examination leads her to the conclusion that the challenges facing the content providers in the modern world are part of a broader striving. Tesla came over from Graz and went to work for Thomas Edison. Nonetheless, Edison offered him a job, promising Tesla $50,000 if Tesla could redesign Edison's breakdown prone DC generator designs. The new generator designs were a vast improvement over Edison's originals. Upon completing the job, Tesla went to Edison to collect the $50,000 promised for the task. Tesla, Edison replied, you don't understand our make and humor, and Tesla was never paid. These two men became arch rivals.
By beginning so, he knows that he has plenty of time to do thoroughly all the work he can be expected to do. All his work having been finished in good time, he has a long interval of rest in the evening before the timely hour when he goes to bed. After a sound night's rest, he rises early next morning in good health and spirits for the labours of a new day. Each to be shaped big robot is a sandwich of three materials. A graphing outer layer, which binds to heavy metals. A middle layer of nickel, which gives the bots magnetic polarity, so they can be pulled through wastewater with magnets, and platinum inside for propulsion. Just add a bit of peroxide to the wastewater, and it'll react with the platinum to form water and oxygen bubbles which propel the tubes along. Trump has threatened to declare China a currency manipulator, but experts say he has little legal or economic basis to take such a step. He has also threatened to impose a tariff of up to 45% on Chinese imports if Beijing doesn't behave, a move that could lead to a trade war and damage the economies of both nations.
Study author Samuel Sheehan, a material scientist, says the smart glass is cheaper than others and uses minimal power much less, for example, than something like a curling iron, and since it's flexible and foldable, he says it could even be used for things like camouflage uniforms to switch, for example, from green and brown to white and grey. The caterpillars that feed on trees are trying to match the hatching of their eggs to the timing, but burst. The caterpillars want to feed on the juiciest and least chemically protected leaves. And it's not just the caterpillars, of course, that are important, but the knock-on effect is on nesting birds which are also trying to hatch their chicks at the same time that there's the maximum number of caterpillars. But they did find something that had a much bigger impact on wildlife habitat quality. The best predictor of wildlife abundance was not human activity, but factors like forest connectivity, nearby housing density, and the amount of adjacent agriculture. The results were published in the Journal of Applied Ecology.
Marriage is a big step in anyone's life, and there is an argument to be made against getting married too early, as any newlywed couple knows. There is a huge amount of financial pressure associated with marriage. Firstly, the wedding reception and honeymoon will cost you an hour and a leg. Then there's the matter of home loans, rent and energy bills. Darwin published his paper, On the Origin of Species, in 1859. It is one of the most well-known pieces of scientific literature. In the paper, Darwin proposes the theory of natural selection. He states for any generation of any species, there will always be a struggle for survival. Individuals who are better suited to the environment are fitter, and therefore have a much higher chance of surviving and reproducing. The researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the White Rumped Sandpipper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places they moult, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world.
A university is not a business. More precisely, a not-for-profit college or university is significantly different than a for-profit business. A university has no owners and it is a public trust. A business has a single overriding goal, the maximization of return for the owners. A university has a multiplicity of goals, to foster learning, to create knowledge, and to serve its community. The one-year program of the Master in Global Management is designed only for those who have the graduate degree in the thesis. It increases the temporary skill of new managers in an international capacity, something that recruiters are looking for more and more. Parents need to take control of the television viewing of preschoolers and children of early school age. A workable technique is to make a simple but firm weekly plan as to what programs will be permitted and how much time overall may be spent in viewing. Any child's weekly schedule normally involves a certain amount of time for school, naps, outdoor play, and indoor play.
Environment problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operation. Once you've picked a general topic for your paper, you need to come up with a thesis. Your thesis is the main and focal point of your paper, and it's the position you'll take on your particular topic. Formulating a strong thesis is one of the most important things you need to do to ace your paper.